Okay, Marine Tech Mike back here in the aft cabin of Black Pearl trying to get the lighting set up. Uh, we're doing another electrical experiment. So in the middle of Mike Schweitzer's project we're planning and we just put out the video about heat on the boat. One of the things I said is a disadvantage of that central Washington heat source is that we do have a little pipe that runs some of the hot air and circulates through the boat. But the aft cabin is always cooler. <clears throat> Since I've added a whole bunch of electricity, a bunch of lithium batteries to the boat, my lovely wife Lynette said, hey, what about, we're going out cruising this weekend, and it's December, there's prediction of snow, and um, I don't think it's going to hit till Monday, but still, what about putting an electric blanket in the aft cabin? we got plenty of electricity. So I did Tech Tip 5. I know how much ice makers, countertop ice machines, Instapot, you know, the Instapot's 19 amp hours. We're a 12 volt boat, so 250 watt hours. Uh, bread machine, twice that, 500. And so, yes, I want to know how much energy does an electric blanket use overnight? Turning it on an hour before we go to bed, sleeping and whatever. It does, so in order to do this test, because everything else is running on the boat, I've got a standalone little battery pack here, thanks to Art that he put together. I think it has a Never Die VMS, but I can pull it up on my phone and use it. Uh, we will know then exactly how much energy for just this project. And so that's our plan. I'm gonna get my pajamas and a good book and sit down and, and figure it out. But, so we got the battery sitting here. It's 160 amp hours, 12 volts whatever that works out to, a couple kilowatts almost. Um, uh, we had a little cheap inverter, a little modified wave. This will not run on that apparently. So we got a pure sine wave. It's just a small 1200 watt unit for the experiments. We use this as a portable battery bank. We could take this in Art's van or wherever. It works fabulous. So, um, But what I like is it'll record out exactly the consumption overnight. And so, uh, the other thing I ran into is you can't adjust search watts on this inverter. Um, and so the electric blanket, when it turns off, it doesn't kick back on. And so that's easy enough to fix. I've got a little fan back here that's blowing a little warm air. It's going to probably be too hot tonight. We'll see. But the fan runs at 55 watts. With When we add this, this adds another 90 watts or so. So we're up at 140, 138. Of course, it cycles on and off, and that's why we need to do this testing, and that's why everybody says that Mr. Mike here is crazy, uh, because who knows, does it run 30% of the time or 90% of the time or 10% of the time? So we'll know in the morning. Uh, I'll report back as to exactly what the consumption was on this electric blanket, and maybe you'll consider one on your cruising. Okay, that worked out perfect. The little battery thing that we had from Arts, the BMS showed that we used 61% overnight, or 61 amp hours, the way that it was set up. And we did have to run that fan just to keep the inverter going, otherwise it would go into sleep mode. Uh, the on um, With our Victron, with our MultiPlus, we have no issues with that. It, it, it works just fine with the electric blanket. But I wanted the independent testing, and so it worked out. Uh, the fan used 3.2 amps, so that used about... 35 and we did a 11 hour test um, or 10 hour test is when the you do 10 hours and the electric blanket shuts off so we had it on for an hour or better to get the bed nice and toasty and then we turned it to low and just it, it did its job it kept us warm very cool so if the if the fan used 35 amp hours the net for the electric blanket was only 25 amp hours so a little bit more than the instapot but i'm willing to give that to keep my toes nice and toasty so thanks for watching tech tip 5 um, update or addendum we added to our electrical research on the black pearl thanks for watching